Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to do the CP Totaling test comparison between the ICO Z5 versus ICO 7 device. And this is a question which has been requested by a few of my subscribers asking me to make a video on this particular topic. And right now, the ICO Z5, which uh, right now I'm trying to use in this video, has been updated to the Android 12 update, so which is a font touch 12 as well. And let's see after this Android 12 update what will be the overall regarding the benchmark scores. That's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. And right now I'm going to use the Android threads and I'll try to run for about 15 minutes. So same settings I'm trying to use between these both phones exactly. Same settings. So by using the same settings we're going to find out exact what's going to happen with the throttling impact. I mean Snapdragon 870 and Snapdragon 778G processor. So how much difference we're going to see regarding the throttling. That's what I'm going to focus in this video. So let's get started without wasting any time and use the CPU throttling test has been started successfully. And right now let's measure the temperatures in the beginning. It's of 26 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius in the starting of the test. I can be back after maybe 5 or 10 minutes of time just to check what's going on overall uh, regarding the CPU and the GPU scores. I mean regarding the performance scores. Performance scores and regarding the graph as well after 5 minutes of time. I can be back after some time. So right now as you can see friends we are reaching up to so exactly kind of close to 9 minutes of time and let's check out the temperatures 37 degrees celsius and 37.8 degrees celsius. So very close regarding the temperatures and you can take a look at the graph of both phones how the graph is actually maintaining after close to 10 minutes of time and you can see the performance numbers also remaining very similar not bad so that's maintaining pretty good. I can be back after some time. So finally friends after 15 minutes of time with the CPU throttling test you can clearly see comparing the IQ Z5 versus the IQ 7 device the graph. So these are the graph looks between these both phones not bad. As you can see the graph. That's pretty good. So Snapdragon 870 versus Snapdragon 778G processor. CPU total up to 94% and 91% the throttling. And you can try to look at the performance scores, what's maintaining between these both phones, average and minimum and the highest. Slightly kind of high Z5 has got advantage, a little bit maintaining the performance, very strong, slightly, little bit, not a huge, but just a little bit difference. So that's it friends, thank you for watching and this is a quick comparison between these both phones recording the CPU throttling test after the recent Android 12 update. Meanwhile, signing off friends, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates and bye.